Yo, what is up you guys? It's your boy Geo back at you guys again with another Dungeon Rush Rebirth video. Now, before we even get into what's going on in this video, all that stuff, I want you all to know that I am doing another giveaway at 5,000 subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you like this video and comment down below to be entered in the giveaway. The giveaway is going to be... We'll, we'll, keep what the, we'll keep what the giveaway is going to be secret for now until I post the official giveaway video. And you'll have to like, comment, subscribe like on that video really to be entered. Not this specific video, but you'll have to be subscribed to see that. So that's why you'll want to subscribe. And just probably like and comment because I'd really appreciate it. Um, Alright, <laughs> now let's get into the video this video let's get into this video obviously and so this video is going to be about my team where we're at everything that's taken place the past like week and a half two weeks on the account the update where we're going like some plans and everything we've learned so it's going to be all about building this video here so let's get into it first off elemental temple still stuck guys um I don't quite know what to do. Sneak peek of our um, new team right now. I mean, we're trying. We're just, you know, we can just keep... The only thing we can do is keep growing the team. So, there's that. And I hate that it just skips all the way through like that. So, you can't even see. Um, we'll have to check back later and go through a, a whole battle. First tip of the, the day is if you watch your battles. You guys probably figured this out already. But if you watch your battles, it gives you a little bit better odds. Or so me and my guildmates have like figured to win the battle if you watch it all the way through rather than skipping it um we're stuck on stage 145 of the um endless abyss still we've been here a while this um this character here her burn the burn on this guy or i think it's a guy or a girl i'm not sure the burn on this character this hero here is insane so my heroes the heroes i have are really good at healing when hit but they don't, the heals on, the, the heals on, um, Yuko and Ormus don't heal when they're burned on, or any kind of after effect of bleeding, poison, they don't heal themselves then only when the initial hit takes place. So with all that extra burning damage really just gets to my team and kind of, kind of, kind of eats it up. Um, I think we're focusing right now on probably getting our full attributes of attack and life force up and then these guys here we'll go into this this other stuff later as it is more expensive so we might as well get our best bang for the buck and start with these guys and um then do that here we've also worked on some element resistance on some of these guys here a tiny bit mostly the the arctic and then the the fire because on the campaign we were stuck on some arctic and then some fire levels and so I did that there, helped a bit um, on our resistance for those levels. We're now stuck on 17.5 of the campaign. Again, this burning chick, the freaking the fire master that burns every freaking thing is is a big bummer. We only got to 13 today on the um. Wow, look at that. Oh, did we? Okay, we can still battle. We can, Yuko can still win this. We must have just timed it out, but Yuko can still win this easily. Easily by herself. Um, so I guess we'll get to 14. And um, that's pretty exciting, I guess. But uh, a couple nights ago, a couple ones, like, um, what is it called? A little bit ago, we finished the whole thing, but um, it's cool if we don't finish the whole thing. Um, this time. I'm not sure she does. I'm not sure if she'll get through. She probably won't get through by herself on this one, to be honest with you guys. She's strong these days, but she doesn't even have her own. Um, she has no kind of aura or anything. She's got stunned. This guy here does a ton of damage. If you guys didn't know, this guy does a ton of damage. I wish she wasn't stunned all the time right now. Gotta heal herself. They have healers over there, huh? Two healers. Yeah, she's not gonna win this. No way. They have two SS healers and Emily. And, um... 
Okay, little hope, whatever the hell the name of this guy. So this guy here, see how he does more damage than everyone else on the team? It's just an S hero. Um, I forget what his name is, but he does a ton of damage. So that's really cool. Um, let's pick up some piece of armor real quick for one of our heroes. Okay, let's get let's get in the team then, because we're here anyways. You've already seen them. We still have our SS Awakened plus two Yuko we're running with, Ormus Awakened plus one. We just were able to SS our Holy Spirit for some extra heal there. Um, we have our Demon Hunter, she's only um, S, but we had this whole set of Poison Orange gear for a while now, and I'm like, if I don't put this Poison Orange gear to work, you know, it's kind of a bummer because we, we, have, we, have, we only have three SS's. So we're going to have some S's on our team anyways, might as well make it one that can have some orange gear plus three, 32,000 power, which is really nice, really helpful. She does a lot of damage too, and her petrify, her silence, or um, poison attack, chance to silence them, um, is awesome, because then when they're silenced, they can't use their special skill, she puts in big work with that. And um, that's really cool. Next on our team, we're running with Emily for some extra hill. It's really all she does. Uh, Holy Spirit also heals, heals, but also um, restores four. Um, she um, increases lightning attack and lightning resistance of her allies as well. Um, so that's cool. And she's stunned, so she does a lot. Heals all, and sh so Emily, I guess, boy boosts speed as well on her main, her main skill. So that's nice. Lastly on the team, we got Frostly still, or whatever his name is, and um, he freezes. It's pretty much all he does. Has some self heal so he can stay alive for a, a decent bit, and that's all. Um, really, kind of for now. These are all the S heroes we picked up. We got some other S's running here. You guys know we're always looking for another one in this guy to get him SS. Um, PetSmart is closed apparently. Sorry about that. Have face dust or whatever. Looking for some more of him. Lord Vader will probably be um, a fodder SS, honestly. We have four more Ormuses, which is like wow. So we'll definitely be able to get a, um, this Ormus awakened pretty high. There we have one more frost lick uh, and if I can get him SS too, um, as well as this guy, if I can get either one, like one more of either of those, uh, man, how excited I would be. Those guys are both insane. At S, they're good, but at SS, I've heard they're crazy. We got these guys here, Lord Edward, Lord Blackhammer, both pretty good, I've heard. Um, but, you know, we only have the one, so we're not even going to waste our time thinking about those guys. So our total team power right now is up to 100. All right, sorry about that, guys. My um, I actually ran out of space on my phone because I have so many games in here. I'll be playing so many games. Um, what are we actually talking about? We just finished talking about my team, yeah. I should have um, I should have checked. I was just going through these SS heroes, I believe, or these S heroes. Um. Yeah, so that's what we're working with right now. That's the progress we've made on our heroes. The um, Peak Arena event, the uh, new 3v3 crossover arena, actually just came out. We're really excited about it. Let me see if I can take you guys through a couple of videos on um, battles. Um, it's pretty cool. This is my team here. We're doing pretty well, so we're excited about that. We're excited with what we hope to finish in like top ten, so that's exciting. Let's see. I don't think I, we can beat these guys anymore, huh? Just be able to beat them. Think I can beat them? I think we can. Let's see. I think we can. But, um.
Let's see, let's find him again. We can be a lot of these teams on here, actually. I just have to be really, um, let's say strategic in how I go about it, placing our guys, because one of our guys is a little bit underpowered right now, his team for, like, who we're competing with, but, um, he still is a solid team, and I know, like, he really knows what he's doing. Um, he just has had, like, not as much luck this past week as the other two of us. Let's see. I would have to... He can beat that guy for sure. Or no way, let's switch around, because I can probably beat this guy. These guys are weird, these teams are weird when they have so much power, but only S heroes. These heroes aren't worth a damn. This one, apparently, if he has a ton of gear, can be kind of, kind of strong. Alright, let's see. I'm in the front, this guy's all the way in the back. Can I take that guy? Hmm. I think maybe. No. Let's try this. I feel pretty confident as long as their Yuko's not stronger than mine and she shouldn't be. We shouldn't have an issue. So you can see everyone's play working here. You can see Frostly, whatever his name is, doing some freeze here. You got um, Ormus buffing, buffing our attack. Um, Emily's going to hit some, hit us with some heals. Um, Holy Spirit will do the same. Holy Spirit gives us some stun there. If we could get Demon Hunter to hit it all, that'd be nice. But she's staying, stayed stunned. Um, Ormus hitting again. There, Yuko's pretty strong, yeah. Um, so, we got two silences there. Yuko's hitting again. She's here for the damage. And her self-heal on attack. Hers and Ormus' is just crazy. Hers is even a little bit stronger. Hopefully, Emily and Demon Hunter don't die, like, right now. Emily's about to die, though, but... I think we can do without her. It's nice their Yuko stun for a little bit. They stun, they fr froze our Ormus, which is a bummer. Demon Hunter with two more silences, which is nice on that Holy Spirit over there, because she's going to hit us with a freeze anyway. There, um, this guy comes back to life, which is a big bummer. They have really good crowd control on that team, that's crazy. We gotta get rid of that freezing bitch. Honestly, we gotta get rid of her. She's gotta go. Now. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't look good for the home team if we can't get her gone. Yuko will get her on the next hit, I think. Good, 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 good. I don't think their Yuko's is strong. Good, she's frozen. Ormus is hitting heavy now. I wish he would've gotten a freeze there. He didn't, which is cool. Nice. Yeah, their, their Yuko's not nearly as strong. I think we can still win this one. <laughs> this is a, this was a, ah, uh, what the fuck? Okay, <laughs> so something you guys will learn if you play this game is if you do not defeat the team in the, a lot of time, you will lose the battle. We lost that battle naturally, we'll lose our next battle. Um, okay, so, that was some bullshit. We all know it. But, um, is what it is. This one's... I know we can beat this team here, so let me switch it up. Because we can't just go out on a, go out on a loss like that. This, this first guy's actually in my guild, but I'm sorry he's gonna have to take an L. I'm sorry, Gabe. What the fuck? Did Gabe really just beat? 
<laughs> oh no. No good. And this guy has no chance. Oh wow. Okay. Now I feel real bad. Because that shouldn't happen. Oh fuck. I wasn't even ready. I don't know why I clicked battle. I thought we didn't have enough. Okay, that guy won, but I don't think my team can beat the last team here on this team. Who's this last team anyways? Let's see. It might be close. Like, we might be able to take them. They only have Emily for heal, which is nice, but they do have a decent bit of crowd control, which is a bummer. Their Caitlyn Enormous probably is like their best damage. Oh, those two were bad. I swear, guys, we beat those teams. I'm not sure. Sometimes you'll beat a team, sometimes you won't. But, like, maybe they've just advanced since last time I battled them earlier today. Their Caitlyn's about to die, which is super cool. Because she's, she's SS, so, like, she's dying really quickly. Um, way... Less than I thought you would do. And this guy here isn't even a good hero. He's like an A level hero they made into an S. So I'm not worried about that at all. I actually think we'll do pretty well on this team. And I think we might be able to pull it out. But um. I can't believe Gabe beat that guy. Gabe's Yuko is so strong. So he only has a Yuko. He has a 140,000 power. His only character like SS is like a Yuko for the longest time. You might have another SS at this point, but his Yuko was like 70,000 power or something wild. Mine's like 60, but like his Yuko just like will single-handedly beat teams. He has so much in her. Um, and mine will too, but his is just like a next level and I'm not sure why. Like, I don't know. The power difference really isn't that much. And like, you think the other characters would matter a little bit. They don't. You like... Yuko will just, like, actually kick ass. Um, I think we're going to win this one. I, I feel good about this one. Hopefully we're still in sixth. We just took two big L's. Two big fat L's, which is a bummer. But, um... Alright, there we go. We're in ninth now. Jesus Christ freaking christ um all right we'll figure that out those were some rough some rough losses um that was the arena though in the regular arena i'm ranked 25 right now um what else is new you guys nothing else is really new just this was a team update video um i want to remind you guys before i go um, we are doing giveaway of 5,000 subs, so please do subscribe, like this video, and comment. I would really appreciate that. There will be a giveaway video posted soon with all of the details. Um, and I will catch you guys later. I really, really appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'll catch you later. Take care.